isn't it interesting within the last 24 hours a new playoff team has emerged in the driver's seat fire the cannons the jackets are for real and who told you they were for real less than a few days to opening day in Major League Baseball of course Toledo is this closer this close to being now the worst team in the East Coast Hockey League we'll find out tonight as they, as Las Vegas gets ready to play action against Ontario it's gonna be a good show it's the Jackets won last night and beat the D Toilet Red Wings. We'll find out more, and I'll give you more. Coming up next on Only Andy Alfred, right here on Clayfan 2 3. But I think it's time to party because, after all, Jackets win! Jackets win! Oh! Jackets win! Woohoo! you guys and welcome into the man cave studios in east toledo i am out of breath oh my goodness what a dance party right there the blue jackets picking up a big win last night over the d toilet red wings and of course before we get into anything hello ladies up there and of course hello lord over in the corner it's welcome into all andy alfred let's break down what happened last night oh let me catch my breath first of all Whew, what a breath what a party right there. The Jackets were a big winner last night. 4-2 to two over the Detroit Red Wings. Ryan Johansson getting the start goal starting up on the power play. A minute 35 into the first period as Johansson gets his 28. Dubitsky gets another power play goal at the 12-46 mark in the, in the first. Gustav Nyquist with two for the Red Wings in his 24th and 25th. The Cam Atkinson's goal in the third period. A lot of controversy with this goal. Um, Brendan Smith pushed. Atkinson into the net. Checked him into the net. The puck was going to cross the line no matter what. Atkinson gets credit for the goal. Jackets go up 3-2. Johansson puts away the empty netter. Jackets win 4-2. Get back into the playoff swing and pick up a big victory at 200 West Nationwide Boulevard in Columbus, Ohio. Jimmy Howard gets a loss. Curtis McElhaney gets the win. Sergey Bobrovsky started the game for the Jackets. 
was took it out in the first period with flu-like symptoms. He was throwing up and not feeling that good, so it was a great decision. And first of all, before I go into anything else, I want to thank those that came out last night to the view party at Buffalo Wild Wings in Oregon. Had a great time. Got to meet, got to see a lot of my good friends as well too. Lucas Sigerson from Sigerson from the show. Also, Danny Facer as well too. Also, Nick Devera and Brian, as well as. Brandon, Smokey, Akmal, oh, everybody showed up for this game. And it was a very pleasure for them to stop by and watch the game a little bit and enjoy some nice wings as well, too. But some other notable games last night in the NHL for you guys. Besides the Blue Jackets game, Dallas picking up a loss to Chicago 4-2. to Edmonton was a loser to San Jose 5-2. to Colorado wins in a shootout 5-4 to over the Nashville Predators. Also, the LA Kings picking up a big victory. They were down most of the game to the to the Washington Capitals, but pick up a big victory this week last night over the L over the Washington Capitals, and also so that helped out the Jackets a lot last night with that and Toronto getting bumped by the St. Louis Blues as well too. So looking at it for tonight's action, there's a lot of games going on tonight in the NHL for you guys. Of course, you have the big matchup in New York at Madison Square Garden as the Rangers take on the Philadelphia Flyers. That's at 8 o'clock on NBCSN. Of course, Vancouver is on the road. They'll take on the Minnesota Wild at 7.30 in the late game, being Calgary hosting the Anaheim Ducks. Jackets will not get back into action until Friday night as they'll take on the, they'll take on the Pittsburgh Penguins at 7 o'clock. The Penguins... The leader in the Metropolitan Division have a game Thursday night. They'll take on the LA Kings at 7 o'clock. That's a very, very big game if you look at it for the Jackets-wise on Friday because a, a, a hurt and tired Pittsburgh team is coming into your building on Friday night. You pick up two big points. There's 20 points still available for the Jackets towards the end of the season, and then we'll see what happens with the Blue Jackets so far. For the Red Wings, the Red Wings will then have We'll play Montreal on Thursday night in Detroit. That's a big game, 7 o'clock start time for that one. And Detroit's got to figure out a way to get back into the winning page. You know, you're losing overtime to Minnesota, lose to, lose to the Blue Jackets last night. And now tonight, and now, and now you have to play Montreal on Thursday at home. Luckily, you're going home. Looking at the standings so far, this seat so far right now as it stands, it is a four-way tie hypothetically for the last wild card position in the Eastern Conference. It is uh, the Jackets leading the tiebreaker with first overall pick in the um, in the wild card. Their record right now going into Friday night's game before going into tonight's action. Of course, in fourth place is Toronto. They are 36, 30, and 8 with 80 points. Washington in third position of the wild card with a 34, 27, 12 with 80 points as well too. Second, holding second place in the wild card position is the Red Wings. They're 33, 25, 14 with 80 points, and the Blue Jackets holding strong, holding, holding, holding strong so far with a record of right now. As I pull this up right now, it is record of 33, 34, 25, and 12 with 80 points. But they lead in the road and the, the regulations overtime wins with 32 this season. So the Jackets in a hypothetical good spot right now, but they need help. And Friday's game against, against Pittsburgh, it's going to be very very, very interesting to say the least. Looking at the other standings in the Western Conference for you right now, St. Louis leads the division, Central Division with a, with 105 points, clinching a playoff spot. They're 49-16, some of 105 points. Chicago in second, 42-16 and 5, 15 with 99 points. Colorado in third, they're 45-21 and 6 with 96 points. Jackets will play the Colorado Avalanche on Tuesday, this upcoming Tuesday, April the 1st, that's a 7 o'clock start time at 200 West Nationwide Boulevard. But the Jackets, like I said, getting into the action tomorrow, not Friday night, as they'll take on the Pittsburgh Penguins. And leading in the Metropolitan Division is the Pittsburgh Penguins. 
In second place, it is the New York Rangers and Philadelphia Flyers. So it's a real jockey tonight to see who's going to get the second position. Will it be, will it be a flip-flop in positions? We'll see and find out tonight. 8 o'clock start time on NBCSN. The Jackets, like I said, are 37, 29, and 6, 80 points. Pittsburgh is 46, 21, and 5 with 97 points. And like I said, separation for second place is division by, by two, one point. As the Rangers have a record of 40, 29, and 4 with 84 points. Philadelphia 38, 26, and 7 with 83 points. Boston leads all of the Eastern Conference overall. And that will be very interesting. Montreal is also in the hunt as well, too. They are in the top seeds. They're number 3 overall in the Eastern Conference Atlantic Division. Well, the ECHL action for you guys tonight goes as this. Cincinnati is in... Orlando to take on the Solar Bears. Evansville is on the road. They'll take on the Florida Everblades. And then tomorrow, Evansville will then go to Orlando. Utah is on the road. They'll take on Colorado, the Eagles, at 7.05 Mountain Standard Time. At 7 p.m., it will be Idaho versus Stockton. And, of course, the late game in Pacific Time at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, Las Vegas, taking on Ontario and Las Vegas. Right now is the worst team in all of the East Coast Hockey League, but tonight if they pick up a victory over this or or this Ontario team, they will become tied with the Toledo Walleye for the worst record in all of the East Coast Hockey League with 43 points. Toledo 1938 3-2 with 43 points. Las Vegas right now, their record is I'm still trying to catch my breath from that dance page. Gotta love the Harlem Shake. Right now, Orlando, uh, Las Vegas with a record of 17, 38, 4, and 3 with 41 points. And so the Walleye and Walleye and Las Vegas now, we're, that's the race now. Who's the worst team in the all the East Coast Hockey League? We'll see and find out as or, as Las Vegas plays tonight. Of course, the Walleye get in, will be on the road this weekend. They'll take on Wheeling. Then to go to Kalamazoo on Saturday before returning home on Sunday to take on those same exact Kalamazoo Wings. 5 o'clock start time for that one. Well, Major League Baseball, This some teams are breaking from camp today. The, the Padres are breaking camp today as well as the Dodgers as they get ready for Sunday's opening night on, M on ESPN. But a lot of camp still going on today. Of course, we got some scores happening right now around the Cactus League and as well as the Grapefruit League. Kansas City is losing to San Diego 7-5. The Angels and the A's are tied at one apiece, bottom of the fifth. Seattle and Texas tied at zero in the bottom of the fifth. Right now, it's 2-1 in favor of the White Sox in top of the second inning against the Reds. Colorado 2, San Francisco nothing. The Milwaukee Brewers are losing to your Cleveland Indians. Pitching on the mound today is starting opening day starter Justin Masterson. He's on, on the hill as well, but also he had some finals going on today. The Tigers were a winner 1-0 over the Philadelphia Phillies. That is Justin Verlander with his second win of the season in the in the spring training. Center. Cliff Lee gets a loss. He goes to 1-2 with a 2.55 ERA. The Red Sox were a loser 5-4 to, to the Baltimore Orioles. Miami was a loser to the Atlanta 9-2. Pittsburgh gets the loss Against actually, they picked up a big victory today. No, they actually did lose. They lost today, and also Washington, a lose a loser today as well too. So we're less than a few ways away from opening day in Major League Baseball. It'll be interesting to say the least. You'll hear my predictions on tomorrow's show for the season, and you'll hear what I have to what I have to say. But last night again, the Blue Jackets. I want to thank again for those that came out to the B Dubs. Ian Oregon that came out and celebrated victory with, with me and, and the people that came out and were watching the game. A big game last night for the Jackets. It was a must win. Every game now is a must win. And the Jackets right now, I'm going to dive into this a little bit more. The Jackets can win 7 out of their next 11 games and get back into the playoff hunt. And they can clinch a playoff spot. I'm not I'm not I'm not jumping I'm not jumping to like oh we're gonna clinch. We're clinching. We're clinching soon. 
I, I have a feeling it's gonna if we clinch, it will be the last week of the season. It'll be either that game against the Islanders or maybe the game against Dallas. Because those two games, I mean, we'll play Florida and Tampa Bay at the end of the season. Dallas is the makeup game from the Rich Peverly um, heart attack situation. And, of course, we play the night before against Phoenix. Phoenix is a very good team, but they're struggling as of late. You got the Islanders and the Coyotes in, in a span of three days in that game in the last week of the season. So there could be a possibility of a playoff clinching in those two games or the game in Dallas. It could happen at the end of the season as well, too, with Florida and Tampa Bay. But, of course, next week being the big week, of course, as the Colorado Avalanche and the Chicago Blackhawks come to Nationwide Arena. It's going to be a tough week for the Jacket fans. I don't know if they're going to pull it out. We'll see what happens. I'll be there on the 4th at Nationwide Arena as the Jackets do take on the Chicago Blackhawks. And like I said, opening day for the Mud Hens is coming up on the 4th. Uh, of course, you heard it here. I'm not going to be at the Ulm opener for the Mud Hens this year. I'll be back at Nationwide Boulevard to listen to watch that game against the Blackhawks. But uh, Walleye tickets and Mud Hen tickets are still available for those games. Mud Hen games at 4 o'clock. They'll take on the Indianapolis Indian, actually the Louisville Bats at 4 o'clock, 7:15. The Walleye take on the Fort Wayne Comets. We'll see what happens with that. We'll break down what happens tonight in the NHL and see how where the standings are going to be. You also hear my predictions for tomorrow tom on tomorrow's show for who I think will win in the ba in baseball and who I think will win out and have the best chances of the division. You might be surprised at who I pick to win the division in the Central, in both the Amer American League and National League. We'll see what happens tomorrow. But until tomorrow, I hope you have a terrific rest of the evening. Go Jackets! And if you're a Jackets fan, you got to root for the Flyers tonight. Just that we can get past the Rangers. We'll see what happens with that. But until tomorrow, I am Andy Alford. I hope you have a terrific evening. And as always, to the teams behind me and to your team at home that you root for, Victory is sweetest when you have tasted defeat. And remember, I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together, the game of life. And oh, I love you guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow for another edition of All Andy Alfred. Love you guys. Let's party! Jackets win! Jackets win! Oh, jackets win!